Hi and welcome to Alto Intelligence. Today we will be demonstrating the Bing Maps feature within Burst. For the purpose of this demo, let's assume that I'm a manager at the Highways Agency of the West Midlands, which is an executive agency of the Department for Transport and is responsible for operating, maintaining and improving the strategic road network in England. I've received several complaints about a dangerous junction in Birmingham on Shaftmore Lane, so I need to first of all confirm that there is cause for concern. I then need to work out why this spot is considered as dangerous and look at what can be done to make the road safer. I've logged into Burst and came to the Road Accident Data Dashboard. Firstly, I can see a summary page, which gives me a high-level overview of the number of road accidents by district for the last three years. This map shows the West Midlands area and we have used a KML file to plot each district. The colours of the districts are based on a scale. Districts with a high number of accidents will be redder in colour, whereas districts with a low number of accidents will be more of a green colour. Here I can see that Birmingham is red, indicating that it has a high number of accidents. Sure enough, if I hover over that area, I can see Birmingham had 7,600 accidents in the last three years. Whereas if I hover over a green area, such as Dudley, I can see that there were only 1,424 accidents. If I wanted to see more information on accidents in any of the districts, clicking on any area would enable this, but I'm here to look specifically at Birmingham, which has the highest number of accidents over the three-year period by around 5,000. So we'll click that area to look at Birmingham in more detail. Now I arrive on a dashboard page which shows me details of the top 10 accident locations, and this has been automatically filtered to show only data on accidents in Birmingham, using Burst's drill to dashboard functionality. As you can see here, I've got the option to export each view to Excel, PDF or PowerPoint. This button here allows me to schedule the report, so if I wanted to receive this report in my email inbox daily, weekly or monthly, I can do that here. The bubbles on this map use longitude and latitude data to plot the exact location of an accident. The bubbles also act as a visual representation of the number of accidents that happened in that particular location. The bigger the bubble, the more accidents that happened. Scatter plots would also be available if I didn't want the size of the pin to be a visual representation of the figure. This would just show the figure when the user hovers over the pin. I can immediately see that Shaftmore Lane has a large bubble, and then by viewing the table I can confirm that 14 accidents occurred on Shaftmore Lane over the three year period, which is definitely cause for concern. I've got the option to zoom in or out on the map, I'm going to zoom in. I can now see more detailed information such as street names and road layouts. We can see here that the location of the accidents seems to be at a junction between Shaftmore Lane and Reddings Lane. I can also choose to see an aerial view of the map, which provides a 3D real-life view of the area you've zoomed in on. I now need to investigate to see if there's anything we can do to stop future accidents on Shaftmore Lane. I'll click on the street name in the table, which will take me to this filtered dashboard page, which shows accident details. Here we have a line chart which shows a comparison between the actual speed limit and the legal speed limit. I can see straight away that the majority of accidents happened when drivers were driving at a speed that was above the legal speed limit. The data on actual speed limits comes from an average speed check in the area. We will have charts showing the light conditions and road surface conditions of the area in which the accident occurred. In this case the majority of accidents happened in light and dry conditions. If the chart showed us that the majority of accidents had happened in dark conditions, this could lead to a decision to budget for better lighting in that area. But here the high number of accidents is most likely due to drivers ignoring the speed limit that is in place, so we need to look into placing a speed camera on this road. Through using this dashboard, we've identified the cause of a potentially fatal problem and have found a solution. Most importantly, this has all been achieved in less than five minutes, showing just how useful Burst is in the decision-making process. Thank you for listening and please head to altointelligence.com for more information.